Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cattails. In the last episode, Penny honed her warrior spirit by learning the Deep Cuts ability. This is actually a pretty decent thing for us to keep in our back pockets, especially if we're going to go out battling again today because it does a good, decent chunk of damage to our enemies. It strikes all the nearby cats with a wound that damages them over time, so even if we have to run away at some point to maybe heal up ourselves, at least we're still doing damage to those pesky mystic cats in the process. So since today is the very last day of winter, it would probably be a good idea for us to go back into the world and uh, try to chase the cats out of our territory. It looks like somebody is actually invading the southern borders. This must be the mystic cats. Maybe they're trying to perform some sort of strange ritual on the beach side, and they need this land to do so. The mystic cats are often the pestiest of the colonies for us, and I am quite curious to learn a little bit more about them too, a little bit more about their mysterious ways. It sounds like we won't have much longer to wait because the beta version of the game is coming out very, very soon. This is actually going to be our last episode in the alpha release, Beta comes out on September 29th, which I believe is Friday this week. Supposedly, we'll be able to change our colonies. We'll be able to join either the mountain cats or the mystic cats if we would like to potentially leave the forest colony borders. Though I've been thinking about it for a while, and honestly, I don't think Penny Cat would uh, want to leave her friends here. She's become far too friendly with Mare and Ember and Scout and Lyris, of course. I can't really see her leaving to join one of her enemies after she's been with them for so long. So instead, if it's something that you guys would be interested in, I would love to create a couple new cats to follow the stories of inside these different colonies. Penny won't be going anywhere, of course. As long as I can still load up her save file, she has plenty of stories to tell in the forest yet. So let me know if it's something that you guys would like to see, and then let me know which of the colonies you are most interested in as well. The mountain cats or the mystic cats, and we might get to work on that pretty soon. I wanted to give Mare one of the catnip plants though, the very last catnip that we have uh, stashed away. I bet he's really excited for the uh, snow to finally melt because that means that we should be able to find him even more of this catnip, and it's one of his absolute favorite things. Doc will be super happy too because of course that means that we can bring him lots and lots of herbs again to stash away inside his den. Right now we're going to uh, take these herbs along with us because I am a little bit worried that we're going to get a pretty banged up once we go to the southern borders to fight the mystic cats. We still have a little bit longer to go before we can use our summon ally skill, so we're going to have to be very, very careful that we don't get completely overwhelmed in the process. We have um, diplomacy to use as well. We probably want to use that toward the southern borders. If the mystic cats want this area so much, then we probably should uh, take it as our own. So the diplomacy usually helps us out quite a bit, it gives us a very decent chunk of influence in these contested areas. That being said, the experience points for the battles will really help us out today because I am hoping that we can maybe, um, oh geez, take a look at the swimming skill. Okay, this is going to be a bit of an issue. Let's use our deep cuts ability since we have so many cats in the area. Yeah, at least that's doing a good chunk of damage, but I mean, we are sorely outnumbered here. That is a lot of mystic cats. I mean, they really came prepared. Clearly, there is some reason why they need to have the beach under their control, or the road rather. Technically, this is the road, so maybe that's part of their ritual instead? Very, very mysterious, but Penny Cat, you are desperately going to need to uh, heal yourself up before you go back into battle. I mean, I guess we can try to swipe at a few more of them, but we still have quite a while to wait before our summon ally skill is ready, so why don't we go ahead and uh, grab one of these Valerian plants too? Scout gave us that tip, I believe in the last episode, that we should be using the Valerian <laughs> to run a little bit faster in these battles, and it is certainly helping us out quite a bit. That way we can scoot out of the way before Oscar and Cliff can just swipe at us. We can grab those Mews too to hopefully use at Ember's shop. Are we just down to one? Did all of the other cats actually run away? We might be able to do this then. There we go, Penny. 
Oh my goodness, talk about finishing the season strong. That was excellent. I'm not sure if she's going to be able to uh, fight this battle now because she is a little bit injured. I guess at the very least, we might as well um, eat one of our mice. We can take one of our golden seals too. I'm very glad that we're going to be able to um, replenish our supply of herbs soon because we are running a little bit low. We have lots of food, but not too many herbs. And in fact, that is the last of the ones that we're carrying. We only have 63 health points after using all of our golden seals in our inventory so Penny I hope you are ready for this battle too. We have your deep cut skill at the ready. The summon ally skill is almost ready as well so let's charge in and see what you can do. Oh man there's lots of cats up here as well. It seems like our cats are up to the north though so we're going to have to take on this tiny group all on our own. All right well it's time to summon our allies then. We need a little bit of extra help here and I think that might be just enough to do it. We just have this cat right here. And then Rosie too. You must be the last one. No, I guess Laura. And there's one more up there too. Laura and a lion. Oh no, you're taking out all my cats. Oh, that was very, very tricky. Just as soon as the lights came on right next to the road, we managed to push the mystic cats out of our borders entirely. I'm very, very surprised that we survived that one. Oh shoot, seems I can only catch bugs. I'm not good enough at pouncing on prey. Unfortunately, there's not too many bugs for you to catch in the winter time either, but I'll bet that'll change as soon as all of the snow melts. In fact, we probably want to uh, make our way back home as soon as possible. Maybe we'll just um, scoot off to the right so we can at least use our diplomacy skill today. I don't want to be out when the season changes because I definitely want to make sure that Penny is nice and tucked inside her den. That way when we wake up, all of the scenery will have a changed around us. Everything should be nice and vibrant and colorful again. We won't have these icy pathways to uh, run along anymore though, which is going to be super, super disappointing. That was one of my absolute favorite parts about the wintertime season. Just skating along the ice, zipping our way into the enemy's territories and zipping back out before they even knew we were there. But Penny should certainly have enough skill points now to increase her swimming skill. So you know what? Let's go down to Lyris and uh, let's share a little bit of supper with him. And we'll see if maybe he wouldn't mind giving us some uh, tips since he is the only cat who likes to stay out at night too. I saw so many of those cats go back inside and I was a little bit concerned that he would as well. But let's see if um, maybe he enjoys rabbits to eat for supper. Good day to you my Rose. Do you like rabbits? What can I say? You have tried, but this is not a thing that fits my style. Oh no, Lyra's. Maybe he's not too interested in the uh, food-related items then. Maybe he would have enjoyed the winter blueberries a little bit more? We could give that a try too. I mean, we might as well. We need to learn what Lyris likes. We know that he liked the butterflies and pretty much anything colorful. Oh, you bring a gift. My gratitude is boundless. It is much appreciated, my little Rose. All right, so it sounds like he has a little bit more of a sweet tooth. It sounds like he definitely enjoys the sweet taste of berries over the hearty meals like rabbits and whatnot, but Penny would prefer to uh, eat her lovely crow that she has stashed away in her inventory. So we figured since Lyris loves to spend time right by the waterside, and uh, thanks to his blue coat too, he probably knows quite a bit about swimming. To be like a bird in the sky and fly so very high, to see all the sights of the world, to see the colors of the grasses all swirled. That's the opening lines of my new poem. You seem like a good cat to practice it on, Penny. Obviously, it still needs some work. Oh, that is adorable. He's sharing all of his new poems with us too. So he is really starting to like Penny despite her little slip up with the rabbit before. But yeah, let's go ahead and increase our swimming skills. Skill. That way, as soon as um, all of the ice melts, we should be able to try to find some of our very first fish of the springtime season. Level 2 in swimming might not be the best, and I'm sure she's still going to have a little bit of trouble when it comes to fighting those tougher currents, but it's better than nothing at this point. It's certainly better than the level 1 in swimming that she had before, so hopefully that'll come in pretty handy. But let's have Penny go to bed now. We'll have her curl up inside her nice and toasty den. And hopefully when she wakes up, everything is going to be nice and green again. Oh my gosh, it's all so vibrant and colorful already. Let's see what it looks like outside too. Hopefully all of the trees are in bloom and the flowers too. Oh, we haven't seen these in so long. And is that a ladybug? 
Oh, that must be the bug of the season, the red ladybug. An ordinary spring ladybug with bright red markings. I guess that means that we can find some uh, different colored ladybugs, just like the damselflies and the fireflies. So Penny's rainbow bug collection is already underway. I think that one's going to get away though, right off to the other side of the screen. I wonder if I'm Ember would like ladybugs. Hi there, have you come to check out my fine wares? Well, I was curious if you might enjoy the new season. He really hated the winter time. Always nice to chat with a valued customer like yourself. Most cats just stop by to buy stuff and then leave, so it's nice that you're sticking around. Gets lonely around here sometimes. Sometimes I even talk to my inventory out of boredom. Oh, that is adorable. So maybe he would enjoy it if we gave him a little red ladybug or something. A little colorful bug to a chat away with when we're not inside the uh, territory. And Doc, you are going to be so happy because I bet all of the herbs are back in bloom. I may not look it now, but old Doc used to be a great swimmer. Oh, Doc is the swimmer. I'd swim all throughout the forest colony. I used to train my muscles over by the rushing rocks. I'd weave in and out of those big boulders that block the water's flow. Sometimes I still dip my paws in the stream that runs through our home here, but it's not the same. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. I figured he was just um the healer, basically, so he would know much more about herbs. But maybe we need to talk to him instead if we want to increase our swimming skills. Now, hopefully Missy is feeling a little bit less crabby with the change of seasons. Oh my goodness, what happened to your face? Every day it's the same thing with you, Missy. Well, let's see if we can find some brand new berries to bring back to her. Maybe she would appreciate that a little bit more if we can bring her her own little sweet treat. In fact, she might be a little bit jealous that we gave um, Lyris her winter blueberries instead, but she's going to have to learn to be a little bit more appreciative of Penny if she wants to um, get those special meals. Now let's see if we can get this ladybug too, because I think it's a different different color. It looks like it's a, a yellow ladybug. Yeah, it's a little bit more rare too. A rare spring ladybug whose wings are harvest yellow. Excellent. So I'll bet somebody would really enjoy that as well. We might want to uh, even change our skill to the study prey ability again, since I'm sure there's going to be tons and tons of prey for us to catch and we want Penny to be in top form. Even the lavender is back in bloom so we can start to spread this around the territory too. And in fact, let's take a look at where our battles might be today. Oh, the shady corner. Oh, the mountain cats must be trying to take that back from us because we have taken quite a bit of influence over their shady corners, their graveyards and whatnot. We're really starting to push into their territory and they are fighting back. And then the Mystic Cats yet again down here by the beachside. It seems like that's becoming the uh, new fairy wood. They were always after the fairy wood before and now they want the beach. Let's see if we can get this little dancing mouse over here. This guy was enjoying the uh, nice springtime music, but not anymore, unfortunately. Now he's going to be our lunch. So I think we should be close to um, the flower plains. And we had some pretty good luck up there when it was the winter time. That was where we were finding all of those lovely blueberries to snack on too, and it seems like we're going to be just as lucky in the springtime. We have some catnip to bring back to Mare, so he's going to be super, super happy, and there's lots of little mice calling this place their home too. I suppose we'll have to swing by us scouts again to give him another one of those tasty mice, and we're going to have to figure out who Penny would potentially like to uh, take on as her partner as well. That's another thing that should be coming with the beta update. We'll be able to potentially start our own little kitty family, so I'm super excited about that. I think previously we were trying to decide between um, Lyris and Scout, but now I'm wondering if maybe Doc should be in the mix too. It seems like Penny is really getting along well with the Doc lately, so it's a bit of a surprise, but I guess he should be in the running too. So let me know what you guys think too. We have the sweet poet Lyris, of course. We have the great hunter Scout too, who certainly shares quite a few similarities with Penny herself. And then we have Doc, the very, very friendly healer who might admire your penny a little bit more than we know. And there, finally, I see the very first fish of spring. Oh, don't go over to the other side of the pond, little guy. Come back over here, okay? We can't swim that far just yet. And it seems like that bunny is getting a completely washed downstream too. We're not going after you, little guy. Don't worry. We want to snack on this big fish. 
I guess we're going to have to go around the other side over the bridge because this guy is not coming down our way, so we'll try to find him instead. Thankfully, it seems like he got himself stuck on the bridge. Just a little bit closer and pounce. Oh no, Penny, you just barely, barely missed it. She must have been a little tiny bit too far away, but she gave it her best shot and thankfully she didn't end up uh, getting completely swept away in the current either. I guess that was actually a pretty good way to do it. If we can corral those fish toward the bridges, then it might be a bit easier for us to pin them down and we won't have to worry about getting hurt. Well, maybe we'll have a little bit more luck if we go further downstream. Let's keep our eyes peeled right at the Atum Creek too, so I guess that means we're pretty close to the Mountain Cat territory. Yes, yeah, super, super close now. And I don't see any fish, unfortunately. Oh, they might have all retired for the night then. Well, let's go ahead and use our diplomacy skills right inside this tile. That way we'll have a little bit more influence along the riverside, so hopefully we can come back and try to catch some more fish soon. But today was certainly successful because we did manage to find quite a few of those herbs. We found um, a one little lovely raspberry to bring back to Missy too. So I guess the uh, spring and the summertime seasons both give us raspberries, which is good to note because we do know that Missy absolutely adores those. And is this my chance to get one of those gray squirrels? I think he's completely stuck in the corner. Oh, there we go. Excellent. I figured it would be much harder for us to catch one of the uh, gray squirrels. The body of a gray squirrel, this little guy is having a gray day. A yeah, very unlucky day, in fact. Maybe he got his little paws stuck and that's why he was up in the corner and Penny swooped in for the kill. It'll be a nice way for us to end out this very first day of spring as well. A day full of new beginnings, especially with the beta update right around the corner. The developers have teased some pretty interesting things. Aside from potentially choosing our partners and aside from changing our colonies, it looks like we'll also have access to these cat festivals that take place at the sacred temple. So I'm really excited for that. And they've also shown off things like snowball fights and turtle racing. It sounds like we are going to have so much more to explore once the beta version comes out. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but in case you guys missed their Kickstarter, starter. You can purchase cattails on their official website. So I left a link in the description of the video so you guys can go give it a look just in case this is something that you're really looking forward to uh, playing as well. As far as I know, the full version of the game is still expected to come out in December. So we have lots of wonderful things in store for this adorable game. But with our pockets full to bursting with all sorts of spring related things, we'll go ahead and let Penny have her a supper of the night, our lovely gray squirrel that we made managed to catch, and then we'll curl up to bed for the very last time in the alpha edition of the game. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am to check out all of the new features. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!